So, okay, the client that we're seeing, her name is Marilyn. Okay. It is a bathroom, and you just don't know what you're gonna find. Right, there's always, like, yeah. surprises. Whoever finds the sex toy gets free lunch. <laughs> I'm Clea. And I'm Joanna. Oh, I was looking at the camera, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm Clea. Sorry. Psych! My stomach just growled. All right, let's do it again. I'm Clea. And I'm Joanna. We have a company called The Home Edit. We are actually professional organizers. Crazy people. Same thing. We have clients all over the country, including a bunch of celebrities. And now we're coming to your house. So get ready. We might know how to clean up a mess, but when it comes to the rest of our lives, we're actually kind of a mess ourselves. Just ask our husbands. Four kids. Parents. Grandparents. Literally anyone who's ever met us. So watch what happens when our mess meets yours. This is Master the Mess. Let's not let the bugs in. All right. In Nashville, this is a real problem. I know, I'm from Nashville. Oh. <laughs> when did right. you move here? Been here a year and a half. And is the bathroom, that's what we're working on. Is that kind of like the final frontier of your house? Yeah, it's a mess. Let me show you. All right, All right. sounds good. <laughs> you go first. I love Clea and Joanna. I watch their story every day and that's like my soap opera. You see all their pictures, like the shelfies. Oh, I'd love to have that in my house. It's in Let's here. There's like definitely some stuff happening here. It's not a bad bathroom, it's just a messy bathroom. Right. The bad news yeah. is that you have a lot of stuff. Her home was really put together, so I was not expecting the worst. And then when we walk into the bathroom, right. I was like, okay, got it, so you've never touched this room. How did this bad bathroom come to be? <laughs> I had a long, crazy divorce, and so I moved here. And in Nashville, I was a realtor, and it was my hometown, I knew sure. people, and so right. it was really easy to be successful. And here, it's like I literally like have to start all over again. No wonder right. you can't organize your bathroom. <laughs> and like you have to do the kids' rooms and like the living areas and right. like the kitchen. You have you to get that have organized to take care first. Of everybody else first. Yes, I have to get this in order. You have yeah. to and function. I can go well, out there. You want to feel good go. when you go into other people's homes. I think the bathroom it's honestly holding her back from like contributing some of her energy to work because it's the way you start every day yeah, it's and so she just, it's critical. It, it is. Can you walk us through like all the stuff? I know it's like a hot mess. Like my friends say, I'm like the hot mess express, but I think I do. Same, same, same. Use it all. <laughs> I mean, this is like ground zero where I start my day. Okay. You know? Ground zero is usually like a point of devastation. Right now, that's kind of what it is. This is such a mess that I will procrastinate getting ready and then I end up like getting ready in the car. Aha. Uh -huh. okay, okay, would so you have like a go bag? Kind of, yeah. And would you prefer to not like get ready in the car? toothpaste, makeup. Okay, um, so I really hope you're not brushing your teeth in the car. You have a vanity, you have no excuse to brush your yeah, teeth in the car. no excuse. The stuff here, it, does it, is it supposed to stay in here? Probably not. Let's take a look. Okay, what is this? My son made those. You have to keep stuff your kids make. No, I think like the paper kids stuff. Like I think paper it in stuff all the time, and this is like not his best work. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get started, and you need to hit the road. When Clea and Joanna are done, I'm really just hoping that if I have a good place to start my day every day, like and start off on the right foot, then it's just gonna spill over into everything else. I forgot my motivation, <laughs> oh and I'm putting God. it on the counter, and You're it's gonna really, look at us the entire time. You're like at a new low. It's gonna keep us motivated all day. Us, me. <laughs> and I will keep you motivated oh, throughout the day. Okay, where do we even start right now? So I think we should pull, pull everything, everything out yeah. and start grouping yeah. and categorizing. Okay. Then we can come up with a strategy. The bathtub's gonna be the bed and bath container, just for right now. The first thing we need to do is figure out what categories make sense because she has the categories all over the place right. and make sense of the usable space that she has. Put this in dental, dental's gonna go right here. Put this with um, like first aid. I don't even have that. I bet you will find it. Wait, what? Oh my God. What? There's a toy snake and you know how oh. to go. <laughs> I just like, it just freaks me out. Oh, good, it's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not alive. I know, but in my, okay. holy, what is it? Okay. Is this? Oh, it's kids' teeth. Ew! Put it in the dental category. Teeth are not new to us. Like we find teeth like kind of frequently. They're uh, usually just not in like an open container. <laughs> this whole section it looks like mainly jewelry. Well, so we need to make a jewelry new. section. Yeah. I think the hardest part is that there are no doors on that closet, which means it needs to shine like the top of the Chrysler Building because there's no hiding it. What I would really like to do is get rid of this. Yeah, I, agree. I think we should get her something shorter, and then we can maybe take advantage of these hang bars. And then we need something stackable or something just like pretty baskets or something to hold the linens or towels. We should shop. Let's get the product and then just play around. All right, we'll see what fits. Home away from home. <laughs> ah, I think this would be perfect. It'll give some kind of like bright white pop in a much needed 
bright white pop space. If we can get through today without any acrylic injuries, I feel like that's a huge win. Okay, the acrylic injuries are real. A quick PSA from the home <laughs> edit. Um, acrylic is potentially the leading cause of death for organizers, so, so just be really careful with the sharp corners. It'll get you. Now to make an even bigger mess. <laughs> Pass it over. All right. Ooh. Bag out of the bathtub, jacket's back in. What people don't realize is that dark shelving is the kiss of death for storage. It will always make the place look smaller and darker. What's the configuration here? Okay, baskets go in. We need the uniformity. I think you're wrong. I think that those baskets need to go in here to reduce some of the dark wood. Okay, great. Beautiful. This can be like her travel area. This can be her glam area. These can be sheets. I like it too. I think this could work. Look at this a glitter ribbon, and you know glitter. It's the yeah. herpes of the craft world. She's <laughs> never gonna be able to get the glitter out. Let's take the costumes. Those are like literally going away. Is this like a <laughs> mid-century plague mask? <laughs> Dominatrix yarmulke? This is not my forte. You know where we really went wrong? Instead of holding those interviews at a table, we should have held them here and just watched them in action <laughs> and we could be like lounging in the bathtub. What were we thinking? How do we choose? I really don't know. They're amazing, all of them. I'm never gonna be a judge in a talent show because this <laughs> is be like, so everyone hard. wins. Yeah, it's like everyone gets a prize. Yeah. We need to open up an LA team full-time. No pressure right. at all. We yeah. just, it has to be a just perfect like pick. a gigantic new market yeah. that we're opening. And that we don't live. One of the you biggest know, cities miles in the world. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. Sumner, she helped us look at resumes. Yeah, let's just call her right now. Hello. Hi. Are you on a job or at the gym? Exercising. <laughs> Trader. I mean, what time is it in LA? What are you drinking right now? It's an appropriate cocktail time. Look what she had in her purse. Let's get back to the important stuff. So we interviewed LA candidates. All right. I want to hear how it went. So the first one was the luscious red hair. Like, think Ariel. Wait, can I just say that Joanna always turns the mermaid into like a Jewish accountant named Ariel, who like lives in the Flatiron District? How do you say it? Ariel. Ariel. Oh, anyway. So the second one, she's a mom of three, which I think is interesting because like, what can she not deal with at that point? Oh, you'll like this one, our third candidate. She said that her spirit animal is a silky chicken. What is that? No idea. You pre-vetted them, what are your thoughts? I think Nicole is definitely the best option. I mean, I agree. We could just like call her right now. Okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. Nicole speaking. Hi, Nicole, it's Hi. Joanna and Clea. How are you guys? We're good. Well, aside from your questionable glitter taste, we think that you're actually a really great fit for our company. That is so flattering. Can you handle us? Wait, can we just get one thing clear? Do I ever, ever have to bring Clea coffee? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm a little terrified. Don't lose sleep over it. I mean, your employment doesn't rest on it necessarily. I mean, it, well, if I could j jump in. I mean, it's not not resting on it. Okay, maybe we can make this work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Do you feel good? I, f I really do. I do too. Cheers to not losing husbands or kids over being in LA all the time. Are you gonna drink it? No, you can have it. Thank you. What about lashes? I mean, I have still haven't finished all the drawers yet. Well, that's nice. Let me get some of this stuff out. That <gasps> the teeth just spilled into the sink. <gasps> are they gone? Two are there. I <laughs> like wanna cry. How are we gonna get it back? Is it gone? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oh my God, she has three children. It's probably the first oh tooth of God. each child. Oh my, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You know Maybe. what, I'm gonna move to Mexico. What if okay. she's like so attached to them? This is terrible. Let me get the other two out. Well, like call a plumber. Maybe we put something down the drain with a sticky piece of tape on it. We need to call her or something. It's. I think the worst thing that's ever happened. No, we, we've never lost something. We've never broken anything. No, this is not good. Okay. All right. I'm like a little bit nervous to be honest. I'll tell her, it's my fault. <sighs> Hello. Hi, Marilyn. It's Joanne and Clea. Hi. How's it going? Honestly, I just like feel so bad saying this. We found teeth and one of the kids' teeth fell down the sink. I, you know what, it's okay, because I don't even know who they are. They're all over the place. This isn't like their first tooth? No, this I just always keep them. Like, I don't, I feel bad, like, throwing them out. Oh, well, we are happy to get rid of them. Honestly, <laughs> it's fine. Really sorry we had to have this talk. <laughs> no.
Your Don't bathroom's worry, coming along swimmingly. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to showing it to you. Uh, I can't wait. Okay. All right. It's fine. Crisis averted, but like we need to wrap this up yeah. really quickly because at least let's have a nice bathroom to yeah, show her right. if she doesn't have all the teeth. This is actually really working. That's fantastic. I think it looks pretty good. It really does. Minus one tooth, we're in good shape. <sighs> Did it. Done. Done. The project looks good. All right, come on. Oh! Oh my God, I didn't see you! Welcome to the bathroom closet. Oh my God, I love it. First thing that you'll notice, obviously your countertop is now visible, visible, <laughs> clean, just the necessities. We used concealed bins mm -hmm. for all of the back stock items. It could be soap or it could be extra toothpaste. We put your linens in these. These baskets are gonna keep everything looking polished and great. And so the open air areas, I think will be really easy to always keep looking as beautiful as they do right now. Here is your makeup. No oh. longer on the counter <laughs> and it's no longer in a go bag. Okay. Right. So this is like actually where you can put your this makeup is your on. prep station. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Because you really wanted to keep those things your kids made, we put uh, the, two, <laughs> the, the remaining teeth yeah. in the kids <laughs> container. I love it, like now I have this like clear space where I can like get ready for my day, have a clear head because you know, everything's not chaos and honestly you guys like, oh, I really love it, like I really needed this. This is the kind of the last piece in the house and so now like everything's coming together. It's better than I could have even imagined. Instead of being like ground zero, it's gonna be get ready and go out and like kick butt all day. I would love it if you right. guys drink with me. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. You're in. I knew it. I knew She's it. such a powerhouse. It's amazing for us right. to help her to get through that like final home stretch. <laughs> nice. Never cry about spilled milk. Always cry about spilled champagne. <laughs>